guys? It's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize cards for projects in a project management board to fit a particular scope of services that's been defined as part of a proposal. And uh, this is specific to land surveying. Uh, but it can be applied to other related disciplines like land planning or GIS or architecture engineering. So it really fits with any discipline that involves project management where you have a, a scope of services that gets tailored to one degree or another to the specific needs of the client or the project. So if you watch the, the previous videos in this series or this playlist on YouTube on uh, project management uh, with Trello, you'll remember in a couple previous videos, we set up a board for site development projects. It's a specific type of project where you're going to take a typically a vacant parcel. You're going to do a boundary survey and a topo survey and and uh, help, help a developer uh, develop that parcel change its use or build some kind of improvements. So we do a fair amount of that work at my day job at Guided Surveying, but we also do a lot of other things that are not site development. Um, and so the reason I started out with that board for site development is because I wanted to do a kind of a targeted video um, on a specific, uh, specific type of project. And there's a lot of surveying firms that that's all they do. They just do site development projects or it's 90% of their work. Um, that is not what Guided Surveying is like. So we do a lot of other stuff. Um, in fact, site development is probably a, a minority share of our work. And so what I wanted to do in this video is show you how we can we can tweak this board we have right here for site development project management to make it kind of a more general project management uh, pipeline, and then show you how how you instead of modifying the lists in the board, you can actually just customize the cards. And you can manage, you know, 95% of your projects, all kinds of different projects in a, in a single board, okay, or in a single pipe. And so I'm going to try and show you how to do that today in this video. So the first thing that, we, that we're going to do is I'm just going to come in and I'm going to change the name of this board. And I'm just going to change it to project management to make it more general, okay. And I'm not going to change these lists because I don't think they need to change. And mo so for the type of work that we do, almost all of our projects are going to have most of these elements. So we'll hopefully have a kickoff meeting. There's going to be some type of research. There's almost always a field survey. Okay. Then there's going to be uh, processing of the field survey. And then there's going to be some effort in the office. I'm going to come back to this section here. Then there's going to be a deliverable. There should be some checking, some QAQC, and then close out of the project. Now let's talk about these two lists uh, right here. So after the field work is done, because almost everything we do uh, as land surveyors involves field work. Not all the time, but, but most of the time. Nine times out of ten, 90% of the time. And then you're going to bring that field data back in the office, do your processing and adjustment, and then you've got to do something with that data usually. So you're preparing a map or an exhibit or a report. And so I've got these two phases here. Um, and and in, when you're doing a site development project, you'll do both of these. Usually you'll do topo mapping and boundary mapping. But you might also do, uh, you might also do like underground utility mapping. This would be some different things. And so <clears throat> there's a couple ways we could set this board up to make it more general. Um, we could just, we could get rid of these two lists here and just have one list and we could just call it mapping or we could even call it office work. Um, or we could leave these two lists that we have here and just move the card into one list or the other, depending on the type of project. So you're going to see here in the couple of projects that we're going to set up that I have one project that we're going to set up that is only topo and then I have one project that is only boundary. Okay. But you could, you could archive one of these lists and rename the other list and just call it mapping if that's how you wanted to do it. Um, 
I don't know that I have a strong a strong preference for doing that in either way. Um, and actually, I think I think for the purposes of the, this video, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to archive the uh, boundary mapping list, and I'm just going to rename topo mapping to mapping. So it's just a little more generic now. And now I have a, a, a pipe project management pipeline that's going to cover uh, almost everything, you know, 90% of my projects. Okay. And the reason we want to do this is we don't want to have one board. I want to have one project management board where I can go in and look at all my ongoing projects or almost all of them. I don't want to have one project management board for GIS projects and one project management board for boundary projects and one project management board for topo projects. I'm trying to make this fairly generic so that I can kind of get one overall view of my project management on one board. Now, there are times when you have a specialized project that requires its own board. And so, for example, I did a, a project last year where I was, we were doing uh, surveys on like, I don't know, it was like 23 street segments. And so I set up a custom board where I could track each street segment as a car just because there was a lot of moving parts on that job. That work was being done in parallel, so it wasn't sequential. And so occasionally you need to do that, but a lot of stuff you don't need, you, you don't need, a project doesn't need its own board with it, with a custom pipeline. You can capture the majority of your projects with a single pipeline. So that's what we're trying to do here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and this was a, a, exam, a sample card that we did in the last uh, video we used in the last set of videos on the site development uh, pipeline. I'm going to go ahead and archive this and delete it now because I don't need it. Okay. And I still have my template card here. And so what I want to do now is we're going to add um, cards for, for my two current projects that we can then customize. So we're going to use this, this, this general pipeline for both projects, but we're going to customize the cards to fit the scope of services that we have defined. Okay. So let's just go ahead and create those two cards. So we're going to go over here to our uh, project template. And we're going to come down here on the right-hand menu, and we're going to say copy. And we're going to copy this over to, uh, sorry, I'm on the right board. I want to uh, move it to the uh, project kickoff. And I'm going to say create card. And I know I'm going to need two of these, so I'm actually going to do that one more time. Okay. And I think I'm going to add a list here. I'm going to just call this list in the hopper. So these are projects that are un either under contract or about to be under contract, but I'm not quite ready to have a project kickoff meeting yet. Okay, so I'm going to pull these over there. Okay, then we're going to click on the card and we're going to rename these. Okay. And so what I like to do is I like to put the job number first. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I like to, put, I usually put a colon in the name of the job. So this first project is called uh, Stutz Parcel Flood Mitigation. And then the second job is hang on here, get this job number in. This second job is a, uh, a boundary survey where we need to write some uh, land descriptions for some new um, access easements over uh, an access road. Okay, so I've got these two cards now. They're set up. They're in the hopper. Okay, and what I what we want to do is we want to go in and we want to customize this list, this uh, this this set of checklists for the particular scope of services on each of these projects and uh, we may do some we may add some custom fields here as well um, and and possibly some uh, attach some documents so we're at almost 10 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna break this we'll break this up we, we'll do two or maybe three videos so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now in the next video we'll come in and we'll customize the we'll look at the scope for this job and then we'll customize this card so thanks for watching and hopefully we'll catch you on the next ep on the next episode